If there is a case where what we said is different from what your university says, follow the university. Hi everyone, it's Savannah with China Admissions here with your mid-November COVID update for international students and the Chinese border. There have been several policy updates, however, the zero COVID policy is still in effect. So let's get into the updates and then we'll review some other important information for you to know. So as of November 11th, 2022, China released new COVID guidelines. If you would like a direct link to the guidelines in Chinese and in English, Please click the link in the description. We have everything reported with links to sources on our blog here. So I'll review the changes here. There are a number of policies that are directly relevant for international students who are trying to return to China. The first major one is the quarantine time has been reduced. If you've watched our past video series and kept up on our blog, you know that the quarantine time used to be 21 total days, and then it went down to 10 total days, which is a major decrease. Now it is down even further to eight total days of quarantine when you enter China from outside. That is broken down into five plus three. Five days in an official quarantine hotel and three days of home observation. You may have to complete the home observation in another hotel or you may be able to complete it in a university dormitory and that depends on your university. Not every university is able to set aside dormitories for home observation. But that's a major change. Uh, the circuit breaker policy was also canceled as of November 11th. If you don't know what the circuit breaker policy is, in the past, if any flight entering China had more than 4% of positive cases, that entire flight path was canceled to prevent more cases from coming on the same flight path. That was called the circuit breaker policy, and now that is canceled. If a flight has some positive cases on it, that flight path will stay open. It will no longer be canceled. Close contacts of positive cases in China. If you are a close contact of a positive of COVID case in China, for example, if your roommate or your teacher or someone living on your floor has COVID, you would be considered a close contact. You will still be required to quarantine, but you will only be required to quarantine for eight days. So again, we have the five plus three. That's down from 10 day time. Arbitrary lockdown and closure of schools is banned. So we have seen some reports of universities closing completely and suddenly without warning. This has greatly affected students and teachers and the educational system. So this policy bans those arbitrary closures. However, it's important to be aware that the zero COVID policy is still in effect and periodic lockdowns are a part of that policy. So it might be the situation where your dorm building might lock down or the campus might close to outsiders for a time or the university moves from offline back to online classes for a period of time until the epidemic dies down. Um, but the arbitrary lockdowns are forbidden according to this new policy. Here is an important update for those of you taking flights soon. Only one negative PCR test is required within 48 hours of boarding. We get a lot of questions about transfers. What if you're taking multiple flights to get into China? We can't really answer these specific questions because the situation may differ based on student and exactly what airports and airlines you're using. I'm only covering the information that was released in the November 11th policy, which is one PCR test within 48 hours of boarding. For further information about your specific situation, including transfers, you would need to contact the airline that you're flying into China or the airports or even in your Chinese university. Some daily or weekly COVID testing that goes on. With the situation for international students in China now, let's just go over what that is. Students who are located outside of China are still taking classes online, but students inside China have mostly gone back to in-person classes. Many students located in China are taking daily or weekly or every two days COVID tests. Lockdowns may still happen and they may still occur in areas in China that have COVID outbreaks. Students will need to bear all the costs of returning to China. However, students are able to apply to Chinese universities at this time and the border is open for students holding X1 visas. And just to recap, X1 visas are for long-term study programs of over 180 days, so any programs of a year or longer. This would include all degree programs. We have a lot of questions about the situation in China for international students. If you have questions about what life is like in China right now and what it can you travel around China right now, we encourage you to watch our webinar that we hosted with SEEBS MBA. 
That's Mandarin and Smart Shanghai, which are great organizations and schools based in China. And they have provided plenty of detailed information for you about what quarantine is like, what is it like to study in China during the zero COVID policy, can you travel around China, what's the job market like. You can check our channel to find this video, this webinar recap, and watch it yourself to get more information. It's important to note that at this time, because China still has the active zero COVID policy and this is a fundamentally flexible policy we really can't give specific information we have a lot of students that ask us really specific information about their flight or their university or students from their specific country we can't answer these questions because the policy evolves based on the local and international situation what we say in this video might not be relevant a month from now and it might not be relevant to your situation so for more information you should always contact the Chinese Embassy in your country or you should contact your university and you can even contact other students you know who have already traveled to China and gone through that process. We cannot provide that specific information because of the flexible nature of the policy. Um, however, if you want more information, please click the link in our bio to the blog post where we update weekly with all the news that we can find about the COVID policy and the Chinese border for international students. We have plenty of information in that article. We have daily news updates. We have options if you want to transfer outside of China. We have information about what you should pack for quarantine. We have a quarantine packing list and we have information about how you can still study in China now and apply for 2023 intake in Chinese universities. Sometimes Sometimes the zero COVID policy can create a lot of uncertainty for students. Sometimes universities might have slightly different admissions policies or slightly different deadlines during this time. If you want to apply to study in China still, the best option is to use our website china-admissions.com. We have a free database of all English taught programs in China and some Chinese taught programs as well that we update constantly with news from the university including any new deadlines, any changes in tuition, and changes in eligibility documents that you need to know. So you can go for free and browse this database and begin an application with us. We have plenty of amazing services available for students who want top tier level of service and the best chance of admissions to study in China. So if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below this video. The changes in the November 11th policy are really encouraging and we hope that there will be further opening up and further processes in place for international students to come to China. However, as we've said in the previous videos, at this time we can really only be patient and make sure 100% if you are returning to China, you follow what the university says and what the Chinese side says first. If there is a case where what we said is different from what your university says, follow the university. The universities have the most up-to-date accurate information for their local situation. So if you want to learn more, stay updated, make sure you follow our channel, we'll put out more information periodically and make sure you bookmark and check frequently our blog post. The link is in the description. Check out our website, china-admissions.com. We have tons of resources for students just like you who want to study and learn more about China. Thanks and see you next time.